Yo, what is up and good morning everyone. I am just at the beach like usual. It's another beautiful morning in Bali. We're actually coming into rainy season right now. Um, but the mornings are still dry. Usually we get rain in the afternoon, but fortunately the mornings are still dry and sunny. And yeah, it's another beautiful morning. Um, today I weigh 102 kg which is three kg down from yesterday. Now you might be wondering how is that possible? What has gone on? But whenever you have a cheat day or a cheat meal and you eat a lot of carbs, more carbs than you normally would do, or you eat a lot of sort of bad foods, a lot of fried foods I ate at uh, the weekend, um, your weight is gonna go up quite significantly, especially if you've been dieting, it's gonna be a more dramatic increase in weight and that's completely normal, okay? Um, just because your glycogen stores fill up and you're just gonna get more intracellular water retention and just more water retention on the skin as well. And when I looked in the mirror yesterday, I was just like, oh, what has happened? Like today, I look okay, not bad. I suspect that I'm still holding a little bit more water and probably tomorrow that will drop off as well. Um, but yeah, if you're ever in a situation where you have a cheat day, a cheat meal or even like you know multiple cheat days in a row and you see your scale weight fly up you haven't necessarily undone lots of progress depending on how bad you've gone and what you've done and for how long for if it's just a short period of time like your body can only accumulate a certain amount of fat in a certain period of time so it's not all body fat maybe I've accumulated a little bit of body fat after this weekend but no worries, the show goes on. Uh, I would expect my weight to, um, to drop down even further tomorrow and for the rest of this week. But also why it's important to not obsess over the daily scale weight is because your weight can fluctuate so much. You can think that you've not made any progress or you've taken huge steps back when in fact you haven't. So it's always really important to weigh yourself every single day and then look at seven day averages so you can see the trend and you can see your a more accurate representation of where your scale weight is trending. Um, I suspect for the rest of this week, I'll probably be down to probably below 101 kg, maybe closer to 100. It really depends how strict I'm gonna be. But to be honest with you, I'm not being that strict. Uh, the goal still remains the same, 2000 calories, and one hour of walking every single day, as well as a weight training session. Uh, but then, it, you know, every few days, I end up going to all you can eat steakhouse and obviously going over the calories a little bit there. But um, yeah, that's it from me. I'm gonna enjoy this and hit a walk. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, today is back day. And gonna start off back session with pull-ups. I always like to start off with pull-ups, to be honest. I just feel like it's a good movement to be able to do. I'm just gonna hang here for a second though. Just feel into the exercise. Uh, one thing I've noticed is my legs are killing at the moment. I've not trained legs for quite a few days. Uh, so maybe it was my diet at the weekend. Obviously a lot of street food, a lot of fried food, probably inflammation's a bit higher. But yeah, my legs are just killing at the moment. Just some weird pains and niggles. But that also happens if you eat a diet, which is a shitty diet, you're gonna have more pains, more joint pain. And I've got a lot of clients who, you know, they had injuries, whether it was some pain in their elbow or their knee or back pain. And once they've cleaned up their diet and switched to a more of a whole foods diet, they're like, oh, my pain's just gone away. And really what that is, is just inflammation. If you've got higher inflammation in your body, you're just gonna have more pains, more health conditions, uh, it really affects so many different things. Oh, that sun is nice and warm. Okay, sit two. Mm. 
Two sets of pull-ups is enough. Okay, so second exercise is gonna be cable lat push down with the rope. You get a really nice stretch on this one at the top. And then when you come down, squeeze it together. Control it on the way back up. Come down, feel the squeeze. Uh, so this is one of those exercises where you'll probably feel a better contraction if you have the weight a bit lighter. If you go too heavy on this, um, you won't be able to perform the exercise correctly and your form will just be a bit off. Whereas I find you would do a lighter weight on this and really focus on feeling the squeeze and the stretch and getting a good contraction. You just get way more out of the exercise. Okay, set three. Ah, okay, so I've not used this machine before, so I've just had to play around. And for me, it feels better when I have my hands here. And sometimes, depending on how big you are, how small you are, depending on your body type, and depending on the machines that you have available to you, sometimes it might actually feel a little bit better if you, if you grab the machine uh, at a slightly different place than expected. But the most important thing is you feel a contraction in the muscles that you're trying to target. Ooh. 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 
Mm. Mm. Ah. Okay, set two. I'm probably only going to do two sets on here because I already did the pull ups, and this is similar to the pull ups. Not the same, but very similar. So, two sets should be enough on here. Mm. Ah. Okay, exercise number four is a unilateral horizontal row. You can do this with dumbbells. Sometimes I like to use a machine as well, I like this one. Okay, set two. Notice how my shoulder rolls forward. Allows me to get greater range of motion. Okay, I'm just doing two sets on the single arm row because to be honest, I'm starting to struggle already. Like one thing which is really not talked about enough, I don't think, is how much harder training is in a calorie deficit. 
Now, obviously, like I'm in a bit of a steep deficit, but Saturday and Sunday, I was in a surplus. So it's, I've only had one day uh, in a low deficit. Yesterday, obviously, last, the rest of last week as well. But uh, already I'm starting to feel the difference and, and struggle. Now I'm going to do some chest pulls to where the upper mid back. Starting position, I'm really feeling the stretch here. Shoulder blades, shoulders come forward. And then just pull to your chest. Feel the contraction in your upper back. Also works your rear delts. So this is what they do in Bali. They burn the rice fields. After they've picked the crops, the rice, then they burn the fields. Problem is, it gets very smoky, especially doing it right next to the gym. It's not optimal conditions for working out. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never been here at this time when they've started burning the crops, but that's a bit of a session killer, to be honest. I'm just gonna power through for now. Luckily, they're not burning the whole field. Otherwise, it will be a lot worse. Okay, set three. Some back extensions before I get completely smoked out. Smoky, fuck me.
Oh. oh god, my back is absolutely smoked. Pun intended. So it was like what? Five exercises, I think. That's enough for today. Okay, it's lunchtime. We have chicken skewers, couscous, salad, and corn on the cob. The official name for this, chicken barbecue ske skewers with couscous. So um, yeah, we've got barbecue sauce on the chicken, got a nice salad dressing on the salad. Mmm, this is good. This is really good. <clears throat> Healthy eating does not have to be boring. Macros for this meal, 68 protein, 10 fats, 56 carbs for 551 calories. Wow. <laughs>